<laughs> Are you aware that Olivia is in love with your boyfriend? No, she's not. Will you stop? Uh, Penelope. Dan. Make out with Olivia. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Tight. Carter. Truth. What are your intentions with our sweet Olivia? I needed to find someone with friends that I could trick into coming here. I could tell Olivia was an easy target. I brought you all up here because I'm okay with strangers dying if it means I get to live. What the hell? The game is real. Okay, wherever you go, whatever you do, it'll find you. You okay? Yeah. Something really weird has been going on ever since Mexico. Oh, come on. I'm serious. I'm seeing things. Truth or dare? Dare. I know it sounds insane. Just a little. This fine young lady here dared me to show you my business. Seen it before, not impressed. Carter said, tell the truth or you die. Do the dare or you die. Refuse to play. You know what? Screw this. And you die. We're not playing the game. It's playing us. So what do we do? Only choose truth. Marky's constantly cheating on Lucas. Lucas, wait. I'm sorry. Touch me again and I'll break that hand. Truth. That's not how this works. Only the game decides. Could you please just put the tongue in the jar? I mean, come on. That's what we're all here for. <laughs> Welcome, friends. Now we have another fabled line from the film that we saw today. If anyone can guess in the comments before we say it, I won't be able to prove it and neither will you, so you get nothing and you'll be proud. Please, go ahead, go Mr. Ahead. Uh, Frankfurt. I don't know why, but I have the sudden urge to eat Jack's Link's beef jerky and type in Google truth or dare while I'm on my MacBook Air. <laughs> Never have I seen, they each, there was three people in the room each one side by side by side had a goddamn Apple MacBook. It was... <laughs> yeah, all three of them at one point. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe use that to get some better actors, not to get the official Facebook and YouTube and Google sites for like a minute in total. Yeah, well, Maybe so... uh, spread resources out a little better. Yeah, so we uh, we saw Truth or Dare, the, the latest... Nope. <laughs> Rosenhouse. What's his name? Rosenhouse. Rose Bloom. Bloom Houses. Bloom Houses. Bloom Houses. Truth, Truth or Dare. Or dare. Yes. I Bloom. swore that guy was Michael Rooker. There's some random vagrant it's that not. appears a couple it's times. He's definitely right looks away. like older version it's of not Michael Rooker. Michael Rooker. <laughs> There's a couple times. <laughs> yeah. The blonde lady. She was very attractive. Yeah, she, she was, was good. She was. I Surprisingly, she, she looked even better when she was sad. I wish that's funny you say that because I thought, wow, I wish she was the lead and the Indian girl was the friend. Uh, the Indian girl I wasn't a big fan of. You didn't like her? <laughs> no. Yeah, she was pretty, uh, pretty sexy. <laughs> this, this was a case of where, like, right at the beginning of this movie, I'm like, wow, I can't wait to see everybody die. <laughs> well, yeah. It's just like. Well, that's, this is the kind of movie it is. I just, anytime they had the truth or dare face, I yeah. couldn't help but giggle. It, yeah, like, it was, it was the bizarre. Joker face. Yes. Yeah. This. Um... It reminded me of Attack on Titan face. Not oh, a great okay. show. It's like yeah. any other anime I've seen. Yeah, I haven't seen it, but I have seen the, the um, what you call it? The, uh, I've seen screenshots of like you were saying, kind yeah. of that Joker face. Very, um, uh, very disturbing in a giant naked Japanese man yeah, monster. Th this movie, the only reason why it exists is because some asshole saw the perfect exposition scene yeah. from It Follows. And he goes, okay, I'm going to make a movie now. And so yeah. they, they rip off the exposition scene. Well, I'm in, happy in they follows. didn't try to build up any tension. They knew that they were just making a cheap cash grab. They didn't try to yeah. build it up like It Follows did. It's just no, like... It Follows is fucking... They go around the circle yeah. once with uh, Truth or Dare. Hey, run around the place naked. Somebody runs around the place naked. It gets to the guy who they made at a bar, some random American in, like, Guadalajara. He drags him to some mission to play Truth or Dare and drink. Mm -hmm. It gets to him. Truth. Okay. 
Why did you bring us here to play Truth or Dare? <laughs> well, the truth is, is that I'm in a game, and if you don't do it, you die. If you pick Dare and you don't do it, you die. If you pick Truth yeah. and you don't say the truth, you die. Yeah, if you I'm... don't play, you die. If you don't send twenty dollars to Rudy Land, you die. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the it's in the movie, guys. So it's official. Yeah, it's it's the worst poser version of that scene from It Follows. That unbelievable exposition scene. Yeah. And uh, immediately, I well, because like, It Follows was like I hate to say this term, but it was like a real movie. Like somebody, oh, yeah, somebody had absolutely. an idea of what they wanted to do, yeah. and they did it. You know what and I mean? It was, it was smart. Well, the creators of Truth or Dare had an idea of what they wanted to do, and they did it. They just yeah, they, they saw It Follows. They just wanted to rip off It Follows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and um, <laughs> man, this this movie is such a piece of shit. Yeah. But I I had fun with it. I really did. This movie's kind of a blast. It was it's just I would, so fucking stupid. It was very stupid, very dumb. It was pretty funny, pretty goofy with the, <laughs> you know, ridiculous things I, that were said. And I done. don't know if I would have had as much fun if I saw this alone. Yeah, no way. No. It it's, would have been way more fun if we were in an empty theater. Unfortunately, yeah. we shared it with six individuals. Yeah. Two of which may have been giving each other handies in the back. <laughs> I can't be sure. <laughs> did you Did you hear that? Like they picked the one seat. That had a squeak in it, and so constantly I was hearing the squeaking nah, of the fucking chair. The movie was pretty loud. It was loud enough I couldn't really. Yeah, it it didn't bother me. Um, but yeah, this um, my God, I uh, it starts off and I was just like, I was really enjoying it, and then yeah. there's a lull, a real it was, bad lull. It was. It's it's a little too boring to what? say so good it's bad. Oh yeah, or for so sure. bad it's good. Once they leave Mexico, I was like, oh no. What nah. the fuck is this shit? When they're in the college, I was nah. like, no, not this. But, um, <laughs> yeah, there's some just bad shit. The there was some nice thing. There was some nice little sneaky things in it, though. There was, um, yeah, they showed the exterior of the mission, a big castle. They had just natural lighting. It looked church. really good. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, it wasn't. I liked natural lighting. Well, it there's looked, a, it looked there's, like there's a giant lighting. light in the room with them. You can see. Like I mean outside. Light. I mean outside the oh, castle. Okay. The right. exterior. Yeah, it was a that CG. looked really good. It was a CG castle. I was pretty sure it was <laughs> yeah. too. But it looked, you know, it yeah, was dark it, enough. It, it looked nice. Yeah, exactly. They, they made sure it was dark enough that you could see it. You know? yeah. yeah. And um, I like some of the setups for uh, the truth or the dare. Like um, the first one that the main girl gets. She um, she's going to the library to meet two of her friends that were with her in Mexico. Oh yeah. And um. She gets surrounded by Joker face demons, I guess. <laughs> truth or dare, truth or dare, truth. <laughs> right, exactly. What's the big secret about Marky that you want to tell? Right. She's sleeping with everyone! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's like hallucinations. Like, she sees yeah. all this, there's real consequences for her, but nobody yeah. else does. But once again, it's actually a demon. Yeah. We've got to go back to the demon. <laughs> yeah. And um, I will say, the movie does address one thing that everyone's thinking is, okay, well, everyone would obviously say truth. Yeah. And then so they, they say, oh, well. At first, I thought it was going to be, oh, wait, there are, you thought there were rules? I'm a demon. There are no rules. Right. But it choose. turns out, no, there's even deeper level of rules. Yeah. So they do explain what everyone would think is, okay, I would never say dare. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, you know, they ha they have that. Um... There's a couple little clever things. Like, like in a couple yeah. of the killings, the um, alcoholic woman has to s walk around a roof while finishing I, a bottle I mean, of whiskey. I, I, it wasn't great. I don't know if that was necessarily clever, but uh, I will say I was getting flashbacks of the Glimmer Man. I it reminds me. I've never movie. seen it. It reminded it's like a me of uh, with Seagal. Have you ever seen um, um, the other guys? Oh yeah. There's one scene where the guy, the former CEO of Dunder Mifflin, why does it always come back to the Office? Because some of these actors, that's all I know them from. I really love the Office. The form I. <laughs> It's okay. It's better than your average sitcom. Still not great. The guy who um, plays the CEO, the first CEO of Dunder Mifflin, he like, he's works for the SEC and the other guys, and yeah. they stick him on a ledge with a bottle of vodka, mm -hmm. and then I guess he's just supposed to stumble off. Oh, look, he's flying. That's Will Ferrell's <laughs> line. I liked the other guys. I thought it was very I, um, silly, very I liked, goofy. I liked the beginning of that movie with Sam Jackson and uh, The Rock and their yeah. and their um, uh, 
their resolution, and then I think the movie shit after that. <laughs> Fair enough. I think that's the only scene where I actually laughed. I'm a peacock cat. You gotta <laughs> let me fly. <laughs> but um, yeah, this uh, th- th- this movie. First of all, the director. I fucking can't stand this guy. What else is he done? Jeff Wadlow. Uh, Wadlow, whatever. Yeah, probably Wadlow. Um, he, he did Kick-Ass too, which was fucking awful. I never saw awful. it. He also... <laughs> now we know why Jim Carrey was so pissed about being in it, huh? <laughs> yeah. And um, he also did a movie, like a torture porn kind of movie called Cry Wolf. Cry Wolf? Cry Wolf. None. Yeah. I'm unfamiliar. And, uh, yeah. And he also did a horrifically awful Netflix movie. With Kevin James, called the International. Don't name the cleaner. <laughs> no, it's called the International Memoirs yeah, of from an Assassin. Assassin. Yeah, I had yeah. no Fucking desire. Awful. No Just desire to see that. Horrifically awful. Did so, you see the Adam Sandler one where David Spade, one of them, is a spy or something? Yeah, that terrible. Was, no, no, it's 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 really fucking stupid. But I mean, if if you've if you've if you're fine with Adam Sandler, you know, it's there's, I'm not there's really some fine. Shit. I'm not yeah, really well, fine. Don't ever with watch Adam it, Sandler. Though. Yeah. All right, so uh, continue your Jeff Wadlow rant. Yeah, I mean, l- listen, the, the guy's a hack fraud. He has zero fucking talent. Um, you know, he's he's just complete garbage. Just uh, the way this movie's shot, I mean, you know, I mean, the, the, there's there's just the awful jump scares that none of us jumped at. Yeah. Um, just um, the, there was a the couple lighting, ones. There was a couple ones good. where it was like organic, and I'm like, all right, I can get like. The one Asian guy, he's at the vending machine and his yeah. chips don't fall. Bangs it really hard. Like, okay, I get that. You can do that. Yeah. It's an organic jump the, scare. The way he was banging the machine, I'm like, who bangs the machine now? Somebody, like, opened, machine somebody now. opened a door and there was a jump scare sting. The blonde girl. Yeah. And it's not, I don't think she has any oh, relation yeah. to Kirk Cobain. She was like holding glasses mimosas yeah some shit like that and then there's a jump scare and you're like wait <clears throat> that's totally inserted by a studio yeah because she's just walking into a room with two mimosas how is that a jump scare <laughs> that's right. what i was asking immediately <laughs> after like, this is just hilarious and um yeah it's <laughs> it's just so fucking stupid and uh you know i mean i knew going in i'm like this is gonna be did you have a problem horrible. with the acting honestly there I was mean, only one that stuck out really, the, really. The guys over. were were really awful. Yeah, they were All terrible. All the guys were terrible, and I, I think the Indians. That was, was the best part. <laughs> the dudes, how terrible they were. <laughs> I can't turn down shots. That's why I'm oh, leaving. Oh, that guy. That guy. I mean, that was obviously. It was very... really painful. <laughs> I forget what he's saying it to right now, but it just was like Keanu Reeves. It was really painful. Yeah, uh, I can't. The burning turn down right shots. after. He, he has truth or dare burned into his skin. Yeah. It just got burned into my skin. It felt so, it hurt oh, so yeah. bad. <laughs> Dude, are you trying to get laid or are you trying to convey fucking fear, man? Shit. Well, that's the thing is like when something horrible happens, you're like, they're not even really emoting. A lot much. of them, there was a couple times where the lead girl was like, it looked like she was smiling. The Indian mm. one, there was at least one point where she's like, no, I can't do it. But oh, she's like got like, a grin right across her when, face. When her boyfriend dies and they're back at the house, yeah. she's not even like crying. She's just like sipping a, a bottle of vodka casually. Yeah. I'm just like, okay, your boyfriend just fucking died. He just shoved a pen right in his eye mm. <laughs> and he smashed his head into the wall. <laughs> There's something else I didn't see or couldn't remember I was going to ask you, but what, um... At the end, what... Fuck, now I can't remember what it was I was thinking of. All right, moving on. <laughs> Would you, uh... You wouldn't recommend this? Oh, yeah. No, for sure. I, I would definitely not recommend this. I mean, you know, if if you have a movie pass and you've got a bunch of friends who have a movie pass, then yeah, sure, go see it. Have a blast. But, like, th- this movie's gonna hit Netflix and then In you can watch weeks. yeah right and you just just watch it with a bunch of people if you're going to watch it at home just riff tracks the whole thing just scream at the tv and drink. yeah exactly and you'll have a lot of fun unless you're an alcoholic in yeah. that case <laughs> ingest heroin into your penis <laughs> but yeah no this is yeah i i could never tell people to spend was, money on this <laughs> was like let's say you're not watching it, but they're a bunch of friends is it bad and funny enough to carry just you watching it by yourself no no, no. i don't i don't think so i mean 
no, I, I would definitely say if you're a, if you're a super big horror fan, I would. Yeah, give it. I, well, if you're a super big it. horror fan, you're probably gonna see it anyways, just because. Yeah. What you, else is out you there? You probably are, but this is this really has no good horror elements. There's no real tension. I mean, there was one scene that I actually did feel something. Which scene? It was. And you're gonna be shocked at this. You're probably gonna cringe, but um, it was um, it was the scene with the gay Asian kid. Yeah. When he's got to pull the gun out of his dad's holster and ask him to beg. I actually thought there was a well, genuine, real emotional It was okay. There. I liked it, but I... I thought it was well done. He sort of... He went into hugging him like, oh, he's going to sacrifice himself. All right. Yeah. Nah. I I know you laughed afterwards, you know. No, because his scene. dad, his father, he screamed, No! Oh, yeah. No! <laughs> like goddamn bull or something. Yeah. Goddamn. <laughs> But, Only um, <laughs> queers and steers come from Texas. Which one are you? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, that emotional moment did actually work for me. Um, I was shocked. I was like, oh, man. They both I, did I a good bad. job. Well, the, the son did a great job, I'd yeah, say. He, he's probably the best actor in the movie, he didn't get. He played it as a gay dude, but he didn't go way too No, he wasn't flamboyant. It, which he was, was just a regular was nice. dude. I liked that. And uh, I, I really did generally feel bad for him when he died. I was like, oh, man, that's that sucks. I, I liked that guy. Yeah. Um... But, uh, yeah, everyone else in this movie, especially the lead, who, she looks like a fucking alien with a wig on. I was just like, this nah, chick. Yeah, she was okay, oh, but she man. was super skinny. I was like, ooh, this, this chick is so fucking weird looking. Her head looks so disproportionate from her body. Eh, I guess so. It could have been was, haircut or something, I don't know. I'm I don't no know. style, I'm it, no it, fashionist. It, yeah, I, I just was, um, yeah, she It wasn't she was, totally distracting, but it... You know, you noticed it every so often. Be like, oh, yeah. whoa, what's that? What you and, doing uh, now? I guess we should talk about uh, how this is called. Blob. One second, the blonde one, Violet Bean. She looked even better when she was sad. Yeah, it was remarkable. Yeah, she um she was really hot, and you know like I've as I've said before, I do not like bangs, but uh, she rose. <laughs> what are you a fucking bangs? Not I do not like bangs. I do not like bangs. Were you woman. in this movie? I do not like bangs. I do not like bangs, truth or dare. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> yeah, she, uh, she rose above my, uh, my bang hate. <laughs> she was a very pretty girl, very pretty young, young woman. Yeah, so, um. Do you think she was, oh, the Indian girl from Blockers is 22. Oh, yeah? I felt compelled so to look to that go. up when I was going to arrow, <laughs> just arrow the shit out of her she's on my go, thumbnail. Huh? But, um, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I enjoyed this because we saw it together and, um, and you just chuckled the whole yeah, time. Yeah, it, it's just, I just had fun with it. It's stupid as fuck. Every time somebody makes this fucking grinny face, it just, it brought a grin right Which to my I, face. I almost feel like they changed it a little bit. I, I Wasn't it, it like different. more pronounced than the trailers and maybe they I think it, it may back a little bit? I think at some points it yeah. was more and some points it was less. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, um... I, uh, I mean, listen, the th they put Blumhouse in the title. That's the first time they've ever done this. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. He, they, I mean, he produced it, but he didn't write it. He no, didn't direct they it. They clearly knew they had a piece of shit on their hands, you know. But well, why? Well, did Blumhouse have that kind of cachet? Like, what? Well, they did I Get can't... Out. They did Happy Death Day, which made a lot of money. They did all yeah, the Paranormal that was Activity terrible, movies. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Eh, it? It was okay. It was a lot, it was a lot better than this movie. Was um, it funny? Yeah, it's, it's it's a Groundhog Day, but kind of a horror movie, and it, it's it wasn't very good. And uh, honestly, I think they used some of the same locations for Happy Death Day for yeah. for this movie. I could see that, like, because the Happy Death Day takes place out of college, and the um, uh, when we get to the college for this movie, Asians. it looks <laughs> they're BMWs. It's uh, a yeah. nice. Their BMW yeah. just went past us. It's a very yeah, very it's murdered nice out. Car. No, it looks like a uh, supercar. You know what I mean? One of those. No, I'm saying it's murdered out. It's all black. I'm yeah. Black. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rims, rims are all black too. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's strange because if you're gonna put the name of your company in the title, you know, Blumhouse. Yeah. You figure uh, it'd be a good movie. You, yeah. So now every time someone sees that, they're gonna be like, "Oh, I'm gonna stay away from that movie because this movie's a piece of shit." Like, well, it's horror... really weird. I Horror guess they wanted fans. to make some money off it. Damn. White yeah. as can be. Yeah. It's usually Asian. Is that Logan Paul? <laughs> if it is, we can ask him to join. It's Logan Paul or Jake Paul, one of them. But. <laughs> Either way. It'd be, if, um, 
Logan Paul's fans want to come and hang out with us or yeah, just daddy's, subscribe to my uh, page. driving That'd daddy's be cool. car. They told daddy to buy that car for him. Mm, whatever. <laughs> what, um, what were we just Blumhouse? How Bloom, this, well, I mean, he puts out so many sort of yeah. five, ten, fifteen million dollar well, horror no, no. movies. Cheaper than that. They, they, yeah. they don't ever go above ten. Yeah. Really? Yeah, never, really. We need to raise ten million dollars to make a horror movie. Oh my god, man. If they gave we they... we will triple it at well, least. The, the thing is is that they only he only gives people like twenty one days to shoot the movie. Jesus. Yeah. And like so, it keeps which, prices down, but oh, yeah. it certainly keeps quality down as well. Oh yeah, because he, he uses um uh the same crews for like each movie. They're twenty one days, they're union, they they wanna work in the mornings. And, um... Well, you know, um... You know about Golden Hour, don't you? Golden Hour? From 5 to 6. Oh, yeah, for, for sunlight and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, they shoot everything in, like, uh, California. And, uh... California, here we come! <laughs> yeah, and this, uh... Yeah, this this is just garbage. It really is. It's, if it's, it is really bad, but... I would not recommend it because... Well, it is bad, bad enough to be funny in a lot of spots. It's yeah. not. It's, it's not really boring in a lot in more enough in enough spots so that the humor is outweighed. Yeah, and it's we not. We had a good time chuckling at it, but yeah, there, there, it towards wasn't... the end, I was definitely ready. To oh yeah. Leave, you know? Oh yeah, for sure. I was. I was definitely ready for the movie to end. Um, it didn't. It didn't feel. You know, I mean, like like we said, it would have been better if it was ninety minutes, but it know. didn't feel over long. No, but... it, it went by quick enough for me. Uh, like I said, there's a couple lagging moments, but uh, what were those lagging moments? Two at lagging the college. Moments. Any anything when they were at the campus, I was like, oh my god. Get yeah, the they were in this one this. dining room, looking at their Macs, at their apples. That was like thirty percent of this movie. Yeah. Looking is, at a computer screen. Yeah, and it's just hilarious that they type in Mexico truth or dare. <laughs> It's a fucking Google, and it actually pops up. Well, here's the thing. They spend money to get Google and YouTube, but then they don't spring to make their news newspaper article look good. It looks like right. it was fucking Windows Paint or well, it's Windows, hilarious. Microsoft the, the Word. The picture of the, the nun is on the article. It's the same one from at the very beginning in the, in the fucking dirt. <laughs> from at the church. There was a couple pictures like, that give me a the break. first two pictures we saw, they looked like somebody just printed them. Yeah. Printed them like yesterday. And, and it's maybe put an effect on. Yeah. And uh they um they fucked up with uh with actually the MacBook Airs. Yeah. Because if you ha if you have a MacBook Air, you know that the Apple icon on the back of uh the laptop lights up every time the, it turns on. Every time it's on it when you're on it. It's on. And of the three laptops, only one of them uh. actually had the lit up icon. So you knew that clearly they, they had like a green screen for, yeah. for for the article to put in post. I mean, there's little nitpicky things that it's just it's mm. it's just not really that. There's not a it's lot of not, care put well, into it. Yeah, but as a whole, do you think they're trying to put a lot of care into this movie? I mean. The th the, I mean, it's, it's maybe a good the question. young actors were trying harder. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, you know, I don't know if the director knew what kind of movie he was making. Like, did he know that this was going to be like a very tongue-in-cheek, ridiculous, stupid fucking horror movie, yeah. or was he actually taking this seriously? You know, it's like I don't, I don't really know because it's so. I stupid. think it's probably one or the other, and then production side was one or the other. You know what I mean? Yeah. What um. At its core, it is a very stupid idea. There's a demon, a trickster. There is, you know, folklore about trickster demons and stuff like that. Yeah. But there is a trickster demon who, because... How did the old Mexican lady release him in the first place? She didn't really say. She just said it was her fault. She was because she showed her tongue and the priest molested them. How? Oh, he, he would play a game with them. Yeah, hide the and seek. So the priest... Uh... The something nefarious, I guess, was going on. The, the priest would play hide and seek. The woman couldn't talk because I mean, she, she had no would, tongue. She just wrote it out. She said he would torture them. No, he would say his pleasure was is our pain. pain. Yeah. I took note of that. Yeah. It's funny I remember. So, you know, 
It, uh... So I guess because this priest molested these kids, the kids... Yeah. Or just this one woman as a child summoned this demon. <laughs> and then the demon wouldn't go back. It demanded to play games. Yeah, and they, uh, they set up a sequel. Of course they do. Yeah, they, oh my in god. In the worst possible way ever, which I, I'll be honest with you. I was I, on board with the movie. That just was awful. stupid, silly. Yeah, and then right awful. at the end, they dumped that shit. Oh my and god. Honestly, I think that was I, the stupidest ending I could have thought I, of. I think I've seen something similar to that before where they they, they basically unleash up, it on they, the internet. They upload the curse <laughs> to YouTube. And everyone collectively is watching this video and like, oh my god. And then all of a sudden, oh my god. the face. It would have been hilarious if they had one person who was watching the video and then laughing and being yeah. like, that's bullshit. Yeah, we're a dumb <laughs> right? bitch. This crazy bitch out her mind. <laughs> and it's hilarious that they actually put curse in the yeah, YouTube title that was funny too. to tell the audience, she's cursing everyone yes. through the internet. <laughs> Not only that, they were at the mission. The mission's collapsing. Yeah. They figure out there's nothing they can do. Yeah. They have to either kill themselves or, or infect get new others. To play. I figure. So they I, infect the whole world. I, I knew that's. I figured that was going to be the hook at the end because the whole time they're playing up the lead as um Which, a humanitarian of sorts. Yes, and that ties in to the very beginning. A truth. She asked a truth or dare truth question, and at the very beginning, the question was um. And aliens come, they either kill all five of us or the entire continent of Mexico. Who do you save? Yeah. Be truthful. Yeah, and she says, uh, she says that, of course... I'd I kill would, us five. I'd kill us five. And at the end, she totally goes back on that. She's willing to sacrifice the entire world. Yeah. <laughs> so she can stay alive with her friends. Not a, also that, <laughs> what did she say, what did exactly did she do to her friend's dad? They obviously had sex, but did she threaten to, she, I, um, I missed it. I they, either wasn't paying attention or they something They got drunk happened. together. Yeah, they did He it. lost his job. He was very upset. He was an alcoholic. He, he got fired for drinking at work. Yeah. And um, he said that she was beautiful. And so, which they, apparently to any drunk woman, that's the trigger. Yeah, that's the that's, go word. That's that's the that's the go-to. And so they had sex. They they regretted it. And she said that they had to tell the daughter. Yeah, he said that something about telling the daughter, and she said no way. And she said, you okay. know what, you're better off killing yourself. Well, why would you want to tell the daughter? I because he wanted to be completely truthful. Oh, he did. He wanted to be. Open I thought and it honest. was she. I thought it was. The girl didn't want to tell the daughter. Yeah. The that so he uh, he he kills himself, and uh, man, every scene where they bring that up is just so cringy. Telling the audience because yeah. she's looking at her. There's so many there's so many scenes in this movie of people just looking at their fucking phone. Yeah. And, How many and, times did oh, the demon God. contact them via text message? Oh yeah, that is it's and and all the talk of fucking social media. This it's the one so thing this awful. movie needed way more of, less social media, less computers, way more way more smirky face. <laughs> way more joker face. Would exactly. Make this movie better. Do you think so? <laughs> I mean, you remember the guy who uh, um died for not showing his dick in the beginning? Oh yeah, that as was As soon as it went to smirky <laughs> face, I was like, "Yes." That was that was such a fucking hilarious scene. He was such a bad ca like. What was he going? For? Well, do you think he was directed poorly, or do you think he was just a bad actor? He, what he was, was he going he for? He was just being the prototypical fuckboy. Yeah, that's exactly what he was, and, yeah. and he and he nailed that. I was like, <laughs> he played a, a just absolute fuckboy. <laughs> um, I can't say no to shots. That's why I'm leaving right now. <laughs> Get Carter. The name of the villain in this movie is Kalax, but the human the demon who yeah. causes it is named Carter. And the entire time I'm thinking, why are they waiting so long to rehook up? And how'd they find not only how'd they find him? I know they show in the movie, but that's such a bullshit thing how they found him. How they find him is the girl in the very opening scene it shows a girl. I don't think we can see the hallucinations yet, but it shows her just like, I don't want to play She's buying cigarettes at a Mexican, you know, bodega yeah. or whatever. I don't want to play cash or credit, cash or credit, tarjeto o dinero. <laughs> oh, yeah. Every time they were speaking Spanish, it was just absolutely hilarious. And then she lit a woman on fire. <laughs> Somehow she got away. 
Yeah, and they she contacted was, her yeah, via the police, Facebook. The, the police could not catch her. Yeah. She was a uh, They found her in goddamn two hours. <laughs> messaged them message them back in ten minutes. <laughs> oh man, and the cop in this movie. Who who literally gets to do absolutely nothing. He was hilarious. I just loved the, the fucking line that he had. He was <laughs> Let me let me hold up. I want to get it. I wrote it down yeah, just I, for uh, just for sake of specificity. Okay. Well, we'll be in touch. Don't go in. Don't go on any more vacations. <laughs> yeah, don't go on any more vacations. And I was I was dying. Are you a coward theater. like your dad? <laughs> That's how she coaxed her to smash her hand with a hammer. Yes. Yeah. Her friend, whose father committed suicide, is on her bed, about to blow her own brains out. Yeah. Not a scene later, she makes some wise crack. <laughs> it yeah. was so weird. It was so funny. Yeah, and um. She weren't you just on your bed crying with a fucking gun to your head, baby? Right, yeah. Now it's all cool. Now she's just in badass mode. Uh, that just... she's, we're playing truth or dare, <laughs> motherfucker. That Things just, move fast. Ride the roller coaster. That just shows how like rushed this movie was. Like, yeah. It, and um, we needed more smirky faces. Yeah, and I wanted a little more time with the cop because there's there's a great interrogation scene when um, <laughs> he seemed like he was a preacher. Yeah, this guy's a he's, cop. He's like talking to her and lecturing her, and um, <laughs> and then all of a sudden she's just like, um, can I get some water? <laughs> Water? Yes. Water. No problem. Yeah, I got sure. You. Absolutely. Let me leave this uh, folder open very conveniently for you to, to uh, take out your phone and take a picture. To get Carter. <laughs> to get Carter. Yeah, it's um, it's a shit uh, show. Yeah, it's, it's a ludicrous, uh, an unbearably ludicrous yeah. ride. It's awful. Uh, Rocket ride. You uh, you want to give your final ratings on this one? <laughs> <laughs> give a five. It was just wow. funny enough. Just mm. funny enough for me to make it a five. Yeah, this is um it's tough because I think I laughed louder in Hurricane Heist. <laughs> yeah, Hurricane Heist was definitely funnier. I, I, yeah. I laughed more in Hurricane Heist. What did I give Hurricane Heist? I, I think you gave it a four. I, I gave Hurricane Heist a three. Oh, okay. We'll give it a four. I'm gonna get have to change my vote. It's gotta be a four then. <laughs> I liked Hurricane Heist better than this. This yeah, was fun. I, Hurricane Heist was Hurricane Heist than that. is a steaming pile of shit. And I liked that movie more. He got I crushed. laughed more. He got crushed in a goddamn um, Turk cargo uh, truck. I'll, I still, I, I gotta give this thing a three. Like, yeah. this is this is awful. Yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> I'm surprised it even made it into theaters, honestly. Yeah. Well, it is April. That is the thing, is that, I mean, the budgets for these movies are so low that they could go straight to DVD. Um, I, I figure, this movie will probably make its money back, honestly. Yeah, it's so absolutely. Low. But, uh, yeah, this is... This It'll is make its money back awful. on Redbox rentals alone, most likely, because there's there's a lot, huge sect of people, I feel like, I may be wrong, who like horror movies, and no matter if it's bad or good, they're going to yeah. stop and check it out. You yeah, I mean, for, for a long time, I would just avoid so many horror films unless I, unless I heard good reviews. Yeah. But I, I just don't trust a lot of these mainstream critics, so I, I, I have to suffer through each... Fucking horror or give movie. me, <laughs> give me some examples. Like well, mainstream I've talked about that boned you. Uh, mainstream horror movies that got good reviews that I hated. Yeah, uh, it. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't like it at all. Well, that was just hype. They were, all, they all got yeah, on not, the hype train. Uh, it's just not a good movie. It's not good. CGI. But would you say it was okay? Oh yeah, I mean, it's competent yeah, filmmaking. Exactly. That's what I'd say. It's competent filmmaking. Yeah. Uh, but I just like they—they they don't understand horror. Like what's actually scary, and um, th I don't this... know. I feel like um, if you're a critic, you got to watch a lot of movies. Like, I mean, yeah, but if you know. hate the genre, if you then, don't like yeah. the genre, that you got to review them. Then yeah, you're I guess not so. Gonna... But do you think that there's some cabal that like secretly they think horror movies aren't real ho movies or something? I think there's definitely a lot of critics that don't respect horror movies at all and don't think they are real movies. Yeah, for sure. Same sounds... thing with comedy. That's the the tricky thing. I think comedy. Uh, horror and action films, in particular, those three yeah. are just, you know, they're. Um, you need people who really like those genres. You yeah, know? who actually have an idea, a vision of what they're and, trying to uh, do. If, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I just, I just don't trust them. So I watch. I just have to suffer through. Yeah, you know. 
I um I don't know. I try not to I some movies if I'm like, all right, it looks kind of interesting, but maybe I don't like the cast, maybe I don't like who's making it or something. I'll check critics, but I try I try to usually do like if I like the idea, or if I like the actors in it or the writer or the director. You know what I mean? I try to base it off that. Yeah, I look for that. Um you know, but you know, I've, I've mentioned before on the show, Black Coat's Daughter, that didn't get good reviews at all, and it's fucking fantastic, so. Okay. I just, I really have a tough well, time Well, the great times can change. Like, I mean, maybe it's just because it was so small, they didn't really think to take time there to, like. enough critics reviewing yeah, it. Yeah, and look yeah. into it. Because, like, think about this. I, I'm definitely sure I brought this up. 2001 got slammed. 2001 A Space Odyssey got slammed when it came out. People hated yeah. it. The Shining. So did The Shining. People yeah. hated it when it came out. The Thing. Like all of uh, <laughs> Kubrick's movies. Yeah. They well, hated it when it came out. Yeah, The Thing and most all of Scorsese's movies when they came out, they were trashed. Yeah. You know, Taxi Driver and all that. So it's... I, uh... People I've, see... There's some movies... Movies are... They can be more complex. You gotta take time to think about it you gotta see it again you gotta go over it you know some movies I think some movies are just one time watches yeah you know and they like this movie I, I got it yeah, yeah <laughs> I don't need absolutely. to I don't need to revisit I'm, this I'm one. talking like you know films made by actual filmmakers and stuff you <laughs> know what I mean thoughts. yeah not <laughs> jokes but yeah um whatever it um yeah like you I'd probably never gonna watch this again maybe if it's on tv and i really have nothing else to do and there's really nothing else on <laughs> you watch i've seen this i know this whatever i'll just turn it on yeah i mean I, I don't regret watching this at all no and i wasn't pissed off at any point watching this i movie. had a good time I, honestly I overall i had a good time watching it but oh, yeah. we're talking about the film yeah. critically <laughs> I would not suggest you go see it. No, yeah. This this movie does not deserve your money at all. <laughs> um why don't we um why don't we do this? We'll give our uh, recommendations. We may pick up in a little bit. Recommendations, your top whatever you're thinking of right now, your one-time movie, one-time pick movie. One-time pick movie. One-time watch. That you actually watch. enjoyed, but like you still just have no desire to see it. Never again, want to see it again. Yeah, sure. Oh man, just start with me. Put me on that spot. Because I can never think of anything. <laughs> yeah, I think of the topics. Well, we, we've talked about it before. Like um, I've mentioned, Requiem for a Dream is, is a movie I don't ever want to watch again. I got mine already. Um, Schindler's List is is one of those movies where it's like. It's it's very well made, very well filmed, but it's just like, man, I don't want to. You don't want to feel so sad I don't, I don't again. And I've he, never seen. I haven't seen the whole thing since I was a little kid, so yeah, I don't remember anything. It's tough because I really loved the pianist, yeah. which I've only seen once, and I actually do kind of want to see that movie again. I I thought it was incredible. Um, Adrian Brody won an Oscar for it. I think anytime you're dealing with like seriously just like like genocide type movies yeah. we've talked about like Hotel Rwanda before and uh, you know um, I see I can look past that because I really can get it I get into like history and stuff you know what I mean yeah I, I mean I guess it just depends on the subject sometimes it's just too real for you yeah you know yeah I, um, I can understand that for sure yeah there's there's definitely oh, man I'm trying to think I've got one right yeah. now well, what do you got we'll go with kids I can't oh, remember yeah. Larry Cohen, something yeah. Larry Clark. Larry is that Clark, the guy's yes, name? Yes, Larry Clark. Yeah. I uh, I've seen it a few, quite a few times when yeah. I was a kid. You know, it was like, oh, this is a bad movie. I shouldn't watch it, but I. You but know, you really liked it. Yeah, I guess. You know, I was a kid. I was watching. You know, yeah. people fuck and do drugs and beat the shit out of these two gay guys just walking out. You know what I mean? It was just, yeah. it all felt bad. So you know, it was like yeah, it was Larry, good. When Larry Clark's kid. movies in general. I, I definitely got another one from Larry Clark. I don't think I've ever seen one. Kids. It's about um, one day in the lives of four kids. One, two of them are HIV positive. Only one knows. Yeah. And it's just one day in their lives. A bunch of them are, like, connected to Zoo York or something. The actors. Yeah. The one uh, skater kid, I can't remember his name. Telly? Not Telly, the other one. He killed himself. No. He was also in Next Friday. 
as Roach. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's a just a depressing fucking movie. Yeah, and, uh, but it's really effective. It does it does it not do what it sets out to do? No, absolutely, it, it does. And that, the thing with Larry Clark is his movies they they feel too real. What yeah. other see? Get out. Let's move, kids. Check it out if you haven't seen it. If you have seen it, you probably don't have a desire to watch it again. Yeah. Give me an. I don't think I've ever seen another Larry Clark uh, film. The other Larry Clark film that I would bring up would be Bully. Bully. Which is yeah, it's a super fucked up movie. Is it? Is that the one? It's with uh, Br- Brad Renfro, who's passed away now. When did it come out? It came out in like 2000, I want to say 2000. Oh, okay, I'm thinking of uh, Anti Bully. There was like yeah, a it's... movie where they actually filmed a nerd or something. It's got uh, I think Anna Paquin's in it. Okay. Um, I never saw it. Yeah, it's it's basically about these kids just doing drugs, fucking. Yeah. Some of the kids. Have you ever seen Thirteen? And uh, yeah, that's that's a movie that's It's like oh, that man, too. I've never seen it. I don't want to see that movie again either. What okay. a miserable fucking experience that movie is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Bully basically they um they uh they, they kill a kid. Yeah. They they straight up kill a kid in this swamp area, and uh, it's based on a true story. And the whole movie is just about their lives after that that incident. Oh, okay. And it's, See, I was like, thanks for ruining the movie, Dick. No, it happens right at the it's beginning. It's like the deer so, hunter, in yeah, a way. It's right at the beginning. Except the deer hunter's um, event takes place an hour and a half into the film. Yeah, no, it's right at the beginning, and it's it's just fucking brutal. It's nah. and, it, and it's shot by a, a cinematographer that I really like, uh, Steve Gaynor. It's just, I hate using the term, but gritty. It's just so... Fucking! It just feels real. It feels like almost you're watching a documentary. I'm watching just, a snuff film. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just fucking brutal. And, I got uh, um very upsetting. I got another one that I've never seen. That I got another one that you've seen. It could be, but it's not. It's so close, but it's not. Nick Cage and uh, the Master, the dude from Joaquin Phoenix. Eight millimeter. <laughs> for the movie I've recommended before. <laughs> Eight millimeter. It's. It's okay. It's not bad. It's a nice little movie. That's a movie. But I it's watch again. one yeah. step away from being a super dark, like just what we're talking about. Set like uh, kids seven. Like you just feel dirty after watching. You know what it's I mean? It's a very dirty movie for sure. It's um. It doesn't go far enough for me. I don't know. There's something really? about it. It's yeah. a nice. It's not bad. It's a nice little movie. Yeah, I think it's good. It's not I, as bad as everyone says for sure. I I, I think it's underrated. I, I wish yeah. it was on uh, Blu-ray. I want to see it again. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that's just a gross movie. I mean, like I say, when when the subject is you know snuff film, you know that's yeah. you're not gonna have a feel good movie. <laughs> well, I feel like it should have been should be addressed more. You know what I mean? That it's subject, like that subject, because it's so it's so creepy, so bizarre, so I don't know, so traumatizing. It just uh, imagine if you produced, if you made it look like an actual snuff film that was the yeah. subject of the film. You know what I mean? It could be very moving. Do you ever have a friend or anything show you, like, a snuff film on, on the internet? He didn't show me. We were both just downloading random shit. I saw yeah. a news reporter suicide. He just puts a gun to his head and blows himself away. Yeah, I was, uh, I remember in high school I was, I was friends with this guy. He liked a lot of dark shit. And, yeah. uh, I was over at his house with another friend of mine and he had been just downloading all this shit and he goes, oh yeah, I think this is a real snuff film and he just shows this girl just screaming for her life, gagged and then she just gets shot right in the head. Well, and I it's was like, probably... It's probably fake, yeah. 100%, but I, I would just remember like being sick to my stomach. I was like, you know, certain shit you just don't yeah. need to see. There was this one thing on YouTube I saw, but it's apparently a hoax. It was like this dude in this giant mascot outfit, and he's like, he drags this guy in and make in underwear and makes him eat like SpaghettiOs or something. Oh Very God, creepy, it's but gross. it's a hoax it anyways, reminds I me guess. Of, it reminds me of like gum off of the fucking kid in the tub. Yeah. And fucking spaghetti and the dirty shit, you know, just, yeah, I mean, I avoid all that shit, I mean, in high school, all that stuff was coming out, you know, like, the two girls What I was cunt. just gonna say is, it's probably you know? more accessible than ever now, I just oh, watched yeah. this documentary about credit card scammers, Yeah. the dark web, like, you can't trace shit, man, you can't do dick, like, oh. I could, I'm, oh. if I knew where to find one, I could buy, like, a child slave right now, I bet. Jesus. But let's just, just selling a video, a snuff film, yeah, it'd probably be easy to get. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you went looking for it. 
I have no desire to personally, yeah. but uh, yeah, and yeah, teach his own. Uh, if you dig down the rabbit hole enough, you're going to find some really nasty shit. And, uh, See, that's what happens in a lot of movies, too. That's the plot of a lot of movies. It's sort of going down the rabbit hole. Yeah, exactly. I, li- I like that. Yeah, me too. I'm into those movies. Because it sort of works. Into the underworld. It works with you, because not only is it pulling him into him or her into this underworld or whatever, yeah. it also brings us into it. Yeah, you're like this almost... Undi- it's a very organic way to explain things, because he doesn't know like we don't know. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, you're like the omnipresent voyeur behind the main character just seeing everything and uh yeah i'm i'm into those movies i I enjoy that stuff all right um for now i believe you should have a good day may um may all your treasures be safe jeez